there are different kinds of feathers, as one can see in this great blue heron. The majority of feathers are contour feathers, which possess veins around a central shaft. These compose the flight feathers, or remiges, the tail feathers, or rectrices, and many of the feathers which cover the body. Another type of feather, known as a downy feather, can exist both in newborns and in adults. In newborns, downy feathers are a bit simpler, and the typical structure is that there is no rachis, or central shaft, although it can be present in ducks. Instead, the barbs attach independently to the calamus, and the barbules do not interlock to form veins. And thus, downy feathers are not rigid, but rather are important in insulation and can exist in adults under the contour feathers. Semi-plume feathers are intermediate between downy feathers and contour feathers. They possess a long rachis. They are plumulaceous, and they can exist under the contour feathers for insulation. Philoplume feathers have a long, narrow rachis, which lacks barbs for the majority of its length, and then ends in one to six barbs at its distal end. Sensory corpuscles from the nervous system wrap around the base, which allow it to function in the perception of touch. And it is very important during flight for the monitoring of airspeed and to manage flight changes. Philoplume feathers are not known in penguins or in the flightless rat types. Another type of feather known as a bristle feather can sometimes be found around the eye, functioning like eyelashes, or serve in the sense of touch.